The theater is my passion. I felt I had spent my entire life preparing for, for rowing and training as an elite athlete. Doing the work I did in theater, I had to be able to see. Being athletic is my uh, way to, uh, to find peace. And I could no longer make the image on the stage focus into one image. Something just felt off. Sort of living and training through, uh, through lower back pain. I couldn't read the small print anymore. And I thought, well, that's just age. You, you make excuses. Oh, I must have just had a, had a bad row that one day, or I had a bad workout and that's why I'm sore. And then over the years, it got worse until there were actually two images side by side. The aches, the pains, not being able to pick my son up. You know, it's even a challenge for me to get in a position where I can give him a hug. So I got scared. I got scared of what it might be. So I went to the worst case scenario here. What if it's cancer? I was scared. You know, I feel restless, I feel anxious. Until I couldn't, I couldn't function anymore. I had to find an answer. I could not stay on hold for my family, for my life, for my work. I had to get the answer. What we do as radiologists is offer answers. And in medicine, answers provide reassurance, confidence, guidance for successful outcome and therapy. And that's why imaging is so important in order to get a clear and concise diagnosis. We try to make it easy for patients to get an MRI scan. We have multiple different weight limits on our scanners, open-sided, upright, high field 1.5s and 3T scanners. We offer diagnostic therapeutic injections. We have ultrasound and mammography. CDI is always on the cutting edge of the best quality scanners and equipment. The technologists are the backbone of imaging. They are the ones that see the patients when they present, uh, get them ready for their scan, and then actually acquire the scan. The communication is an art. How you communicate with the patient, how you reassure them when they're nervous, how you provide the diagnosis in a way that they can absorb and digest. So at the end of the day, radiology is really an art and a science. Subspecialized radiology is very important. My subspecialty is neuroradiology, which focuses on the brain imaging, the head and neck, the domain of the ENT surgeons, and the spine. That's what they do all day. That also gives comfort to the referring physician that they know they're sending an extremity here. It will be read by an extremity radiologist. And the same goes for the body radiologist and the neural radiologist. So there's a constant interaction between the radiologist and the technologist at CDI to make sure the best images possible are generated. The power of the diagnosis is it gives them reassurance if there's nothing serious. It gives them a direction to go if there is something that needs treated. And the real power of imaging is the precise diagnosis allows the right therapy for that particular condition. And so I, I think the power is both in the emotional reassurance for the patient and how you communicate to the physician. I send my patients to CDI for several reasons. I know the radiologists are giving me top-notch readings. I have confidence in how they're able to read the film. I have confidence that they're going to pick up the small things. It'll be a two-way conversation so that we are in partnership with treating our patients. I need to know that they're going to give the same quality of care that I do, and I trust CDI to do that. CDI is the highest quality radiology provider in the industry. We're recognized as that. Our mission at CDI is to deliver definitive answers to our patients and their referring physicians. That's why we work with subspecialized radiologists. That's why we're local in our communities. That's why we invest in the equipment we do. That's why we have such highly trained technologists that deliver the care to the patients every day. From the minute you walk in, you feel like they want to know you. That was meaningful for me. I had an answer. I had a way to go forward with my life. I'm very grateful for that. Ultimately, we make the unknown known, and that's invaluable. <laughs>